the sedation on fentanyl is heavy enough. I couldn't imagine something being added to that to make the sedation even worse. So apparently the xylazine adds more sedation to the fentanyl. And what people are doing is they're doing this stuff, they're getting high on it, and it's sedating them to the point where they're not even conscious anymore, but they're awake. What's up, YouTube? Y'all saw the thumbnail and title. Let's get into it. I want to talk about this new drug. It seems to be getting worse, probably going to get worse. You know, it's mixed with fentanyl, so obviously it's going to get worse. Anything mixed with fentanyl is going to get bad. But they're calling it Trank. The, uh, they're calling it the zombie drug. Now, uh, what this is, is people are mixing xylazine with fentanyl. And they're calling it Trank. Now, what xylazine is, from what I understand, it's an animal tranquilizer. It's meant for horses, cows, you know, things of that sort. And it causes even more sedation. Now, the problem with xylazine being mixed with fentanyl is it's got a way higher uh, overdose potential because Narcan don't work on xylazine. It's only going to, xylazine is not an opiate. It's a tranquilizer. So when somebody ODs on this Trank, they can hit it with Narcan, but it's not gonna affect the xylazine. You see what I'm saying? So it's gonna make it even more dangerous. Now, something I really wanted to talk about was pe people seem to be, okay, so it sedates you even more than fentanyl. Now I'm an ex-fentanyl addict. I know the, what fentanyl is through and through. I've been all through that. The sedation on fentanyl is heavy enough. I couldn't imagine something being added to that to make the sedation even worse. So apparently the xylazine adds more sedation to the fentanyl. And what people are doing is they're doing this stuff, they're getting high on it, and it's sedating them to the point where they're not even conscious anymore, but they're awake. They're awake, but they're not conscious. And people are eating their skin. People are eating their skin off. Uh, it, you know, almost like some bath salt stuff. You remember the bath salt, uh, big craze about the bath salts and people staying up on meth and picking their skins apart and stuff like that? Well, this stuff is similar. It sedates you apparently to the point where, you know, people are picking their skin off, eating their skin off. That's why they call it the zombie drug. And you know, it seems to be getting worse. I don't think it's fully spread yet. I hope it don't. I hope it don't. You know, I'm making this video to bring awareness about the situation, but that's crazy, man. Trank, who would have thought? You know, people are always coming up with something new. People are always coming up with something new. And if there's people out there that'll do it, there's a market for it, unfortunately. But I wanna know everybody else's opinion on this. Have you, do you have experience with it? Cause I don't, I got out of the game, it looks like before this stuff really hit. I don't even know if it's really in Tennessee yet, but I know it's spreading. It's an epidemic that's up and coming. You know, the fentanyl epidemic's already crazy. It's already at an all time high. Everybody's dying on it, it's killing everybody, taking everybody out. This is just what we needed. This is just what we needed. Trank, something that they had to fentanyl to make it even more deadly, as if it wasn't deadly enough. You know, fentanyl's already killing people. I hope this stuff don't really get out the way I think it's going to, but you never know. You know, this, this could end up being the next big thing, you know, and the problem with it, what scares me about this is I remember driving. I would drive on fentanyl. And I don't know how I didn't wreck and kill somebody or kill myself, but imagine something that sedates you even more than fentanyl, people driving on that. Because people are going to drive. People are going to jump behind the wheel. People are going to do crazy shit. Uh, that's even going to make the, you know, the, the what would you call it? The crash fatalities, people nodding out behind the wheel even, even more. You know, this is crazy, man. But this is apparently a new thing. I, I'm just hearing about it. I've been kind of hearing about it. Haven't really took it serious until now because I keep hearing about it. You know, I run a, I run a drug addiction awareness uh, channel, even on TikTok. It's, that's mainly what I talk about. That's my main theme of what I do, along with sharing my life stories and things like that. But <clears throat> I keep hearing about this. I keep hearing about this trank, the zombie drug. So... The fact that I keep hearing about it lets me know that it's it's getting bigger and bigger. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. And I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to get on here and kind of, 
it's hard for me to give my opinion on things I've never been through, never, but I have done the fentanyl and I can kind of use my imagination on what it would be like to add uh, animal tranquilizer to something like fentanyl. What's wrong with people? Like, well, like, it ain't good enough. Like you need more, like you need more sedation. You know what I mean? Like what the hell? It's, it's almost like it, the drug addiction is such a messed up thing that it's like, it's never enough. It's never enough. Uh, like people always want something stronger. Like, oh, you got something stronger. I want to try it. You know, that's just how the addict brain works. And uh, it's sad, you know, it's sad that people keep coming with stronger and stronger drugs, more deadly drugs, more dangerous drugs, and people keep trying them. Because like I said, the addict brain can't help itself. You know, oh, you got something stronger? Because that's probably how I would have thought back when I was in my addiction. I would have thought, man, it's kind of tempting. You got something that's stronger than this. People are saying it's better than this. Let me try it. And that, that, that probably would have been what took me out. You know, thank God I got clean when I did. Fentanyl already about took me out six times. But yeah, man, this new zombie drug. This is crazy, man. It don't stop. It don't stop. People are always coming up with new drugs. And I feel like with all this technology, they don't really help. Now, I'm trying to do my part to help them by bringing awareness. Uh, something else I want to add in the video. If you run across this stuff, don't do it. Don't do it, you know? I would hope that you'd be able to use your common sense enough to not do it. But I know how addiction is. I've been there. And I know that there was a point in time in the middle of my addiction where I may have actually tried something like that. I was just stupid, guys. I was just stupid. Um, and that's the scary part. You know, If you when you introduce a new drug to addicts, something about being addicted that I noticed. You, when you're full-blown addiction, you don't really care too much about your life in that state for some reason. So, and when you're thinking like that, when somebody says, hey, man, this new drug, Trank, it's good. You should try it. Most addicts are going to try it. It's sad, but it's true. Most addicts are gonna try it. It's sad, but it's true, man. Um, if you put it in the streets, more than likely there's gonna be a market for it. And uh, I'm just I'm just curious to see how this turns out. I hope it I hope it's just a wave that dies off. You know what I mean? But for people that come across this video, I would love to hear your opinions on it. Do you have experience with it? You know, have you tried it? You know, I want to learn about this. I want to learn about this new drug uh, so I can better inform people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so make sure you drop in the comments. Let me know if you've had experience with it. If you if you know somebody that's had experience with it. If you've seen it firsthand, you know, things like that. Let me know. I'd love to find out about it. Uh, and I forget what city it started in. I think somewhere in the, in the north like near New York, around that area. And you know, that's how it goes. It usually starts in a state somewhere or a specific area and then it just grows like an infestation. That's what drug addiction really is. is, is an, it's an infection that uh, it, it infests and just grows, grows. You know, it's like a virus, a disease. And that's the way I look at drugs. That's the way I look at drug addiction, new, new, new drugs. But this one's, this one's interesting to me. Trank, the zombie drug. Because I remember bath salts, and I know y'all remember that shit, man. Bath salts, bath salts, meth. You know, people would stay up days on meth. And that's why meth would make people pick at their skin and stuff. You get to a point on meth where you, uh, you've just been up for so long, your brain is no longer working right. You know what I'm saying? But this ain't one of them situations. This trank, from what I understand, this trank is not one of the situations where you've just been up for so long. No, right when you take it, it sedates you to the point where you're incoherent. You know? Uh, yeah. Yeah, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. What's this world coming to? What's this world coming to? I'm glad I got out. I'm glad I got out before something like that hit. Like I said, I don't know if it's in Tennessee. I don't know if it's wretched a lot of states yet. But the problem with it is it's probably coming. So it's better to be informed about it, be ready for it. If you run a, a, a YouTube channel where you like to spread awareness and talk about things going on in the world, this is a hot topic right now, you know? 
And uh, it's right up my alley. I talk about drug addiction. I bring awareness and things like that. Uh, if you, if you, uh, if you're interested in stuff like that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You know, I drop stuff like this all the time. Like the video helps me get it pushed out to the, you know, more people. And yeah, man, let me know y'all's opinions. Let me know y'all's opinions. Hustling 101, signing out.